Welcome back, Gemma. Women's General Manager, how does it work alongside Liam as the Women's Manager? Do explain a little bit about your role. Uh, so yeah, the, the general Women's General Manager is, um, I think, to help help the club develop uh, the women's and girls side of it. So I will, initially I think I'll be taking a lot of time around the club just to get to know how things work, uh, what people do, what their responsibilities are. And yeah, just to get very familiar with how things work here. You um, couldn't be joining at a better time for women's football in general, could I you? I know, exciting time. It's, it's a really exciting time, like not, not just for kind of um, the people in and around Oxford, but the, the whole country. Uh, the Euros have, have produced a massive um, influx of excitement and excited girls, women that want to get involved in football. So yeah, it's a brilliant time to be involved. It doesn't automatically follow that women's football is just going to go expand madly. It's going to take work to, to build that a, as a club and across Oxfordshire, yes. Yes, definitely. We can't just expect um, can't just expect the crowds and everything else to, to just come. Um, the excitement's there, and I think it's up to us to kind of to, to grab that opportunity yeah. and, and get people in and involved. So, yeah. There's a massive elephant in the room here. You're an Oxford United women's player for a few years, many, many, many years, yeah. uh, and suddenly you're on the other side now. How, yeah. how are people going to accept that? How are the girls going to accept it? Uh, um, hopefully, uh, they'll be um, positive. I think, I think hopefully they'll, um, they'll see it as a, as a good thing because um, I did leave uh, the club. Um, I, I really enjoyed my time here and I didn't leave. It wasn't an easy decision to leave. I really enjoyed the environment and being involved in the girls and things. So to, be, to still be able to be part of that but just on a, a different capacity, is, is going to be brilliant. I'm excited for it. I love the fact we were just talking about some of the younger players that are coming through, and you've played alongside them, so you know you could, there is a real clear pathway. If girls want to get involved in football, the pathway maybe wasn't there when you started out as a footballer, but it's there now. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's completely different to when, to when I started playing football. There was, well, when I started, there was no pathway, um, and just to see the development in that pathway is fantastic. Um, and the players that are coming through now, the youngsters who are getting their chances with the first team. Mm -hmm. um, I think that shows the girls that there, there is opportunity yeah. and if, they, if they're happy with, to put in the, the hard work and commitment and they're going to learn, they will have that opportunity. I think we're unique as a football club because obviously Carl Robinson takes coaching session there, pretty short, takes coaching lessons. Probably can't start in the car just to annoy this. <laughs> um, Chris Neville is part of, uh, it's kind of a club-wide um, sports science policy, uh, Chris Shaw has been involved in sport. We are unique that there's not kind of the women are off to one side and the men. It's a one club thing nowadays. Yeah, it is. I, and when, even when I started the club kind of four and a half years ago, just in that short space of time, the, the people that are getting involved from other areas of the club and helping out. I mean, as a player for me, that was really good to see. The nutritionists, the, the help from um, the Nev and Shorty. Yeah. Um, and just by seeing that, it was, yeah, such a positive. It, and it made you, as a player, it made you just feel like things are changing. Yeah. Uh, last question, really. You, you've got the infrastructure here, haven't you? It just needs fine tuning, is that? really what you need to do just you've got the enthusiasm the buy-in from everybody yeah. it's an exciting time for you isn't it it is yeah um yeah just to see just to see the difference in, in women's football and just the people getting involved in women's football like before um it was just not many people were very interested in mm -hmm. it i don't think and now i think with the successes of the first team and the rtc pathway i think yeah i think there's so many more people interested so it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's up to us again to kind of, yeah, to, to find the I'm about to increase your workload no end. Yeah. You've now got gsims at ufc.co.uk uh, email. If there are people out there who want to get involved, if the people out there want to help, if the sponsors want to help, if there's administrators in the game, if there's people who want to get involved, this is the ideal opportunity. Door open? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, we, we will take any help we can get to, to just increase our, um, just, the view of everybody else um, and just to get people noticing Oxford United and um, yeah we we will take any help we can get our sponsorships because um, we all have, we all have ideas in terms of how we can improve those but it's it's um, yeah it's, it's getting those people to take a look at us and think Do you know what yeah I'm going I'm to help them out and get involved as well.